Hey guys, today I'm working with a Kenmore 400 series washer and electric dryer. They are in excellent condition and right now I'm going to show you that the washer is working perfect. I've got it set on a super load, super load of warm water. I've got it uh, filled up with some uh, heavy towels, jackets, and t-shirts, that kind of thing. Just, a, just essentially a load as if you were standing here yourself testing it out. You get to see that it obviously fills up with water, has a good strong agitation, drains the water out like it's supposed to, and then has a nice, fast, smooth spin cycle. Then I'm gonna move those clothes over to the dryer and show you that the dryer sounds great during operation and heats like it's supposed to. That's how I like to spend my money, so that's how I like to list my items up. So you know when you get them home, plug them in, you'll be good to go. So we'll let this thing finish filling up and then we'll come back for the agitation and the draining. Okay, and we're back. It is filled up all the way. You can hear it's got a nice strong agitation. If we open this up, you can see it's starting to get those clothes nice and clean. And it does full submersion on the water as well. So we'll let it move through this cycle and come back for the draining. All right, guys, and we've made it through the wash cycle. It's draining that water out nice and fast. You can hear that there. I'm not gonna lift up the lid just yet. I don't wanna interrupt that drain cycle because it drains without spinning. And when it's done draining, it kicks over and spins. So we'll come back once it moves its way through the rinse cycle and show you that final spin cycle. Okay, we are on the last step here for this washer. It's getting up to speed right now. I'm gonna show you that here we are on the final spin. It just drained all the water out. Now before I lift this lid up, I wanna tell you that um, it will stop it because it's got that safety lid switch on there. You'll be able to see that it's spinning nice and fast, but right now you can see that it sounds great. Nice smooth operation. Can hear it spinning so here we go we'll put that up and it puts the brakes on and shuts it down now of course you wouldn't want to do that typically but for testing purposes i do it to show that everything's spinning and working like it's supposed to we'll let that finish up and i'm going to show you the dryer all right guys now i've got those clothes moved over to the dryer and this dryer is going to get a little bit of a touch-up job here just to make it shine like new again but real quick I want to show you while I've got it hooked up that it is in fact running smooth, heating like it's supposed to. You can see it's got nice smooth operation. And then we're going to use my heat gun here, shine it inside and show you that it's nice and hot. So right in between those two red dots, it's going to take a surface temperature measurement. And we'll open this up. Shoot right inside there. You can see plenty of heat coming out of the heating element tube there. And so uh, right behind here is the heating element. The heat floats up. Then the inside of your dryer is going to get anywhere from about 95 up to 195. Just depends on what you have the heat setting at. And I've got it on time dry, which is high heat. You've also got air dry. You've got delicates and a permanent press cycle. So plenty of options there. We'll go ahead and get this uh, listed up, get this little touch up done. So check the pictures out in the ad and you'll see the finished product there. Uh, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Again, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks and have a great day.